Hello lovely Mario Maker people, my name is Sief and welcome back. Today we're having a quick look on the only Mario Maker enemy that's able to bury itself, the Monty Moles. So let's start with our first idea. Here we have a small puzzle from Mario. He needs to reach this door, but as it looks, Bowser left him no way to get up there. Fortunately, this bullet blaster bill is not an ordinary cannon, as there is a Monty Mole hidden underneath it. As soon as Mario gets close enough, the cannon will start to chase him and even give him a way to reach this door. If you put a Monty Mole in the ground and then stack an enemy on top of it, the enemy won't move unless Mario gets close. I call this the Monty Immobilizer. There are some really cool and useful things you can do with this concept, but before I show those to you, let's have a look at how hilariously stupid immobilized bloopers look like. So here I've got a small puzzle for you that utilizes the Monty Immobilizer. The bob arm in front of the door is immobilized and the only way for a plumber to get this bob arm to do his explosion magic is to get close to him so that the Monty Mole will leave the ground. Luckily this pipe spits spiked helmets which allow Mario to break this block and to get close to this Monty Mole. Monty Moles can also be used to create enemies that shoot surprisingly out of the ground, providing some extra challenge for Mario. Here a small Italian friend needs to find again a way to reach this door. This time it's a lot easier for him though. All he needs to do is to get close to this bullet blaster and the problem will solve itself. The bullet blaster will push the wiggler onto the P-trigger and then drop into this hole. This leads to the bullets being fired from a lower place, making it possible for Mario to jump on them. What a lucky coincidence! So here we use the Monty Immobilizer again for a small minigame. If you immobilize Magic Coopers, they will not only stop moving, but they'll also stop teleporting around. Now Mario only has to dodge their hurting magic missiles until the pop arm timer ignites and the way to the exit door is open for him. Here we combine some cool mechanics to create a small minigame. This setup will lead the Wiggler to activate the P-Trigger once Mario enters the room and he will trigger the second one as soon as the first one expired. This cannon shoots stars, but it's blocked by a coin, which will turn into a block as soon as the P-Trigger gets triggered. Once the second timer runs out, it will start to shoot stars, though. And finally, here we have pipes spawning different types of Monty Moles. But this is not only one pipe, it's five pipes stacked on top of each other. This will lead to an enormous amount of Monty Moles chasing Mario as soon as the game starts. I didn't know that you can stack pipes like this until I made this minigame, but I promise you we are going to have a lot of fun with this in the future. So let's have a look at the minigame. The first P-Trigger activates and the Monty Mole storm begins. All Mario can do is to try to survive until the problem solves itself. The first P-Trigger expires and the second one gets triggered by a Wiggler, which will sadly kill him during the process. And finally the second one expires as well and stars are shot into the arena and Mario collects one and hooray! Mario goes for a Mole Massacre. So let's have a look in which blocks Monty Moles are able to bury themselves. I like to point out that one Monty Mole buried himself in the fire bar and one did not. If you're curious on to why this happened, you can check out my video about fire bars as I'll explain it to you there. So this one is one of my favorites. If Mario stands on top of a bullet blaster that is carried by a Monty Mole, he's able to control in which direction a Monty Mole will run. He will always run to the side where Mario is standing on. I really love this concept. It's like Mario Kart, or at least a little bit. And that's it for today and for Monty Moles. I sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up and maybe you feel especially interested today and want to hit the subscribe button as well. If you know other cool things you can do with Monty Moles that I did not cover, feel free to tell me about them or even better, just leave me a level ID. I hope to see you soon with even more tips, tricks and ideas in Super Mario Maker. Goodbye.